the basis for resuming direct final status negotiations between the Palestinians and the Israelis. This is a significant and welcome step forward. The agreement is still in the process of being formalized, so we are absolutely not going to talk about any of the elements now. But bringing both sides to the table is one thing. Getting them to overcome historical differences, well, that's another. Connor Powell is live in Jerusalem with the very latest on this. Connor, good to see you. What's going on? Well, Kelly, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu today warned that negotiations with the Palestinians will be difficult, but he said an agreement is in Israel's strategic best interest. But many in Israel's conservative government are openly against any type of peace agreement. Several, several leading members of the Israeli cabinet are even against these talks. Now, in an effort to appease his conservative base, Netanyahu has uh, said he would put any peace agreement to a national referendum. Israel reluctantly enters these negotiations, fearing the Palestinian Authority can't guarantee an overarching agreement that would end the conflict and end the violence. Of course, Hamas, which governs the Gaza Strip, is not part of these talks, which makes any long-term agreement with all Palestinians nearly impossible. Secretary of State John Kerry has already overcome one significant hurdle, though, convincing the Palestinians to return to the talks. They vowed not to negotiate unless Israel Israel stopped construction of Jewish settlements inside the West Bank. Israel, of course, has rejected that. However, the Palestinians are going to send representatives to Washington, D.C. next week. Now, still, expectations are still very, very low for this deal since so many previous efforts, Kelly, have failed. But Secretary of State John Kerry is pushing forward, and he does seem to be optimistic, but there is a real cautious sense here in Israel and in Palestine. Kelly? Indeed, and as we mentioned, Connor, those historical differences between the two groups will be difficult to overcome. We are hopeful and optimistic that they will. Thank you. Connor Paul reporting live.